Just wanted to do a quick um, rant here on the topic of making your kids say I'm sorry. So sometimes when I'm at the park or something, I see a kid do something and then the parent says, now say you're sorry, say you're sorry. And I just, it really grinds my gears because when you say that to a child, especially that's two, three, four, and you're telling him to say sorry, the concept of what that word means doesn't really register to them yet. So you're basically saying to them, say potatoes, say potatoes. And then when they don't say it, you get mad at them. But the, that's what it feels like to them. You're saying like just an arbitrary word. You're just saying potatoes. Like it, it, the word means nothing to them. And then of course, when you say to them, say this, say this, what do they want to do? Not say it because we're all wired like that. You tell me not to do something. That's the first thing I want to do. You put a sign somewhere that says, keep off the grass. And what does everyone want to do? Everyone feels tempted to step on the grass. So as soon as you tell them to say it, say it, or do it, do it, they dig their heels in and don't want to because we're all wired like that. Even as adults, we're like that. Compliance isn't a, um, I don't know, a, a, as much of a natural setting as parents think it is. So that's one thing is the word is often arbitrary um, to children, to little kids. The other part of that, though, is the best way that you can teach them about saying sorry is modeling it for them when you screw up, how many times do you lose your shit with your kids, yell at them, snappy at them, dismissive, rude, disrespectful to them or whatever, do you apologize? Probably not that often. Um, most of us don't because we think we're the parents and I know better and I don't need to apologize to you, but that's a great opportunity if you want to model and teach your kids how to say I'm sorry every time you screw up or every time you yell at them or just do or say something you regret it you know oh, that wasn't cool I shouldn't have done that own it and tell them hey I'm sorry I yelled at you you don't deserve to be yelled at ever and don't do a I'm sorry but you weren't listening that's why I lost my temper or I yelled at you because um if you had just paid attention or not hit your sister or asked you to do what I told, then I wouldn't have, like, nah. Yelling's never on. Never okay. I don't want my kids to grow up thinking, or our kids, your kids, my kids, to grow up thinking that yelling or someone who's disrespectful to them is cool and something they should tolerate. Nah, not a good way to start. Um, so if you're going to be teaching them how to apologize, model it for them. And even in that situation, if the kid does it at the park, then you say, oh, whatever the kid's name is, Billy, I'm so sorry that Johnny did that. Um, I think we'll, we'll try better next time when we're kicking the ball to pay attention where we kick it. Sorry, we didn't mean to do that, buddy. Or whatever. You can guide and model the apology. To The expectation, though, to have the kid do it is not always there. And I think when you ask them, to do it and then you get into this power struggle about say you're sorry say you're sorry if you don't say you're sorry we're going home you're gonna lose kids are just they win power struggles they just do that's what they're like best at um yeah so do the do the set the example yourself and you say it and um model it for them and that's how you'll raise a kid who says sorry